Look at that. Nice hard scalp. But do you see what I see? That's right. There's still too much grass left there. Let's scalp it again. Actually, before we do that, let me show you what I'm talking about. So a lot of people go and do their scalp. And it kind of ends up sort of like mine right now. Relatively hard scalp, at least you think it is. But this isn't good enough, especially for Kikuyu. So if you have a closer look, you can tell it's in and around 10 mils. This is actually the reason that I'm doing it. I just let it grow too long over the last couple of weeks without mowing. And now I've got an issue. You can see it's about 10 mils, but there's still too much matter. And what happens is you get runners that build up these sort of clumps like this. If they don't get to run nice and smoothly, they build a clump. And that clump causes these additional little lumps and bumps all over the place. So if you mow those guys out, you end up with a much smoother surface. And any of the bigger sort of lumps and bumps, you can go and take a rake and rake them out and smooth out that surface even better or even more. So let's eat through this a bit further. You can see some nice baldish spots like that. That's a little bit better, but it needs to be more. Let me show you. Here's another indication of you doing a scalp correctly. When you've washed your hands, the rest of you should look like that. three or four more times it's too dusty and too hot for me to continue so I'm still not where I want to be but this is a lot more like what it should be take a look at this that is how your kukuyu should look when you're done sculpting not like that more like that anyway I just wanted to make a quick video to let you guys know that when scalping kukuyu you should really clop it hard don't do this half and half type thing because you're going to sit there with that little bit of a brown mucky mess just below the surface the cleaner it is so basically to the ground if your lawn was established the more solid green and complete green growth you're going to get on the top and that's going to give you that nice neat tight smooth look that you always want in your lawn anyway that's all the grass that i pulled out today I might go over it again once or twice more tomorrow. I'll try and decide if I'm going to put this video out now or tomorrow. But anyway, that's a lot of mess. I think I'm going to do something about that soon. All right, next day, I wanted to come out here and do this again. But it's once again too hot, too windy, too dusty, too dry. I thought the rain was going to come last night, which would have made today's session a little bit more enjoyable. But yeah, remember, this isn't a... This is the only way to sculpt your lawn video. This is more for the guys with Kikuyu and road tree mowers. It's to show you that you really need to eat in a lot more than what you thought you did. If you've got a nice scarifier like an SVG 500 or something like that, then you should pull that out to use the scarifier. Really scuff up that surface. Get rid of as much of the surface nonsense as possible. But for me, this is where I ended up over the majority of the area. If you look at it from the top, it looks like this. If you get up close, you can tell it's just like a muddy surface with a few little stompies all over the place. If you look at it from the side, it looks quite full, but that's what it is from the top. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share this with your buddies, and there'll probably be a part two of this coming up. Cheers. Here's just a better close up for everyone. Just stompies and ground. And for those of you who got to stay to the end, you get this little bonus shot. Meet Marlo.